my gosh. <laughs> And don't worry about a thing. Go! We are starting episode two today. We're gonna do date number eight. It's called Tour de Food. So we're gonna take Adeline to get babysat today for our date. I'm gonna show what the date consists of. So it's called Tour de Food. So it's gonna be going out to eat, uh, typically is what that means, or if food is involved. Uh, you are gonna want a camera, you don't want a babysitter, and it's away from home. So we gotta make sure that we do it before nine. It's two to three hours. 30 60 bucks all right now for the fun part since Kaylee got to do it last time I'm gonna scratch this time Whoa. hey this is interesting go on a progressive three-course meal adventure from three different restaurants in one night oh no <laughs> Attempt a different accent at each place and give yourself a new name. You must give that name to the server. Oh no. <laughs> Film yourself in character for 10 seconds at each location and post to social media after the date. Okay, for the sake of keeping our story straight, we're going to make a little planned list here. Um, yeah. <laughs> This is kind of what our layout looks like. As I was filling this out though, I was kind of having a thought. I don't know for sure how easy this is going to be being that uh, coronavirus is a thing right now. Thanks, Corona. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to do our best to try and find restaurants that work for this. If not, we might have to pick a different date and do this another time. Okay, so we wrote our first restaurant down, but now we're just trying to figure out how we're going to establish accents, because I don't, well, like, I can do some accents, but I don't think Kaylee has any, like, inner arsenal, so we're just doing a randomized, like, hat draw sort of thing, so I think what we're going to do is draw our accents and then try and practice them before we go to the restaurant, add a little humor to the mix. Okay, here goes pick number one. I hope it's not like French or Italian. <laughs> I can't do either of those very well. Southern. Oh, that one's easy. Mm, southern accent. Okay, okay. So, we're doing Southern accent for Casa de Reyes. Uh, alright. Hi, my name's Betty Sue. Oh my god. <laughs> that was like Southern Belle. Well, I'm I guess. That's southern. See, I go redneck with it. I, I do my southern like this. I don't know why. And I, I'm sure we're going to offend some people on YouTube who probably... I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Should have been recording just now because Kaylee was like... Well, was I just... said now is not the time to be offending people on the internet. Yeah. Oh, well, hey, we're sorry. Uh, this uh, That's what the book is telling us to do, so... The, the book is word. The book is word. Word is God. I don't know. All right, so Southern for Casa de Rey. Okay, so I don't really know how the names are gonna come up, but Kaylee just kind of went with the first thing that came to mind, and I had to look at like a modern Southern boys names list thing. And this is the one that, I don't know, stood out to me, I guess. So what we're doing is we're going to, well, we're gonna drop off Adeline at Kaylee's parents house in Sweet Home so we're gonna basically kind of do this in order so Sweet Home we live in Lebanon and we're 
near Albany, so we're gonna we're gonna do our appetizer in Sweet Home, do our entree restaurant in Lebanon, do dessert in uh, Albany. Okay, Kaylee's turn to pick the accent. Italian. Oh no. I can't do Italian. Okay, so we tried looking up uh, some how to pronounce or how to how to speak in Italian accent videos and it was not not helpful at all. Um, so we're gonna pick a different accent. Okay, attempt number two. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, English. So like a like a like England English. I feel like I can do that pretty well. I I can't speak for Kaylee though. Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is so out of character for me. Uh, okay. I'm really excited <laughs> to go out to eat for once. I need to practice. This is our second restaurant, by the way. Bigfoot Grill, it's here in Lebanon. Really, really good. Uh, they got good burgers, but they also started doing some other stuff like steak and ribs and whatnot. So this this is gonna be interesting to do a, an English accent at a very, very American kind of place. All right, so we're gonna go with Elsie and Thomas for English. Uh, I guess it would be Thomas or something like that. I, I don't know how you'd say Elsie in English. Elsie? Elsa? Elsie? Uh, I, I don't know. Okay, we're going with BJ's ice cream for Albany. Uh, that's actually really like the only dessert place we could find. Alright, Kaylee's gonna pick her accent. Please, not French. <laughs> He's German, which makes sense with ice cream. I was just saying that before I started filming. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not very good at German, but this is my attempt. I don't know. I feel like it's so offensive. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was just going to say. See, I'm terrible at accents. I don't know, it's better than, I, I feel like it's better than we could probably do it Italian, because the only, like, Italian uh, pronunciation, whatever, I can't word, but the only videos I could find, it was very Super Mario sounding, and a lot of the comments were saying, like, that it wasn't right, so, yeah. Go for it. Oh, no. <laughs> Under pressure. I don't even know what to say or where to start. Okay. We, oh, V, V, A, R, R. She said there was no R's. R. They just don't really, I don't, they v. don't pronounce it the same way we do. V, V, V. Oh, uh, we we uh, we watched a, a how to speak German video because we're hopeless over here. Uh, v, is, would it be V or would it be V? Like for we, V, V, V. <laughs> it doesn't sound right. We are going to go to Bigfoot Grill. It's. It, uh, it sounds like gorilla. Almost. Oh wait, no, we're not going to Bigfoot Grill for the German. Well, BJ's. no. If we are going to go to BJ's. BJ's. I don't know. They don't have J sounds really either. It's like a. Ch ch like bitches. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> now we have our German names Anya and Hans. As if that's not typical enough. So the list is done. Now we just gotta go drop off the baby and uh, and do this thing. Somebody just woke up from her nap, and now we're gonna go see Grandma and Grandpa. You ready to go? Here you go. Take a ride in the car. And see Grandma and Grandpa.
All right, location number one. We dropped off the baby already, so let's go do this thing. These are appetizers. I'm going to go with the sampler platter, though. That gum, I tell you, these chips and this salsa are delicious. What do you think? They are so fantastic. I'm just enjoying myself great fine. All right. <laughs> All right, All right so Emerson, what are we getting? I think I'm gonna get the uh, the sampler platter, the half supreme nachos, half supreme quesadilla, and three chicken wings of, of uh, I think I'll go with, uh, what do you want? Uh, uh, mm, <laughs> Grace buffalo. and Lynn. Buffalo sounds real nice. <laughs> and then for the quesadilla, for the nachos, did you guys want the chicken, ground beef, or shredded beef? I would like shredded beef, I think. Yeah, that sounds pretty well, good to me. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so how do you think that went? Uh, Take your time. Are we still supposed to be using our accents or no? <laughs> I don't know, but your accent like, really fell apart. Uh, <laughs> I'm not good at pretend. I don't think the server bought it for one minute, but you know that's all right. <laughs> we're not, we're not, we're not exactly great at accents, especially when we're embarrassed. We're not actors, okay? We're just regular old people. We're not old. I mean, I feel old sometimes. <laughs> we have also like destroyed the salsa. All right, our appetizer no, platter is oh, here. Did you want this to... looks more like a meal than an, uh, than an appetizer. I know, it's cute. So we might need to take a break between. Uh, sorry, oh, yeah. sorry. And we got we got our Polaroid. How's the hot wings? They're pretty good. <laughs> nice and crispy. Yeah. I'm excited to try the quesadilla and the nachos. Are we All right, we destroyed that appetizer. Just kidding, we still have nachos. So. <laughs> I would miss, excuse me, I would kind of hard to eat a three course meal. We'll have to take breaks. Yeah. Just hopefully with it being Friday night and during the coronavirus and all this, it's not too hard to get a table at our next location. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for coming out. Thank you very much. You're Appreciate welcome. It. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we're headed home now. We gotta let our stomach settle for a bit because uh, that appetizer was a lot more filling than I was anticipating. Um, unfortunately, the next restaurant closes at like seven, and we have uh, about an hour to let our stomach settle, and then we gotta go get dinner <laughs> before they close. So hopefully, we'll make it there in time. All right, so now we're at Bigfoot Grill. We got to try to remember to do a uh, British accent for this. Well, this should be interesting. Okay, so due to the due to the ordering uh, situation here, we couldn't really do the accents like uh, we were planning. We were gonna do the English accents, and it just didn't work out because they made you order at the counter and I didn't have the camera ready. But we'll still get good food out of it. So there is that. Um, we still have dessert to get after this. BLT with some fries, and okay, we got some steak bites. We kind of went light so that we can save room for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so food was delicious. Had a BLT. Um, the bacon was super crunch. It was really good. Kaylee had little steak bites. Yeah, they were yummy. They did overcook them a little bit, but that's all right. Tiny bit, but they they uh gave us a gift certificate for our weight. Yeah. So that was nice of them. That was nice of them. Uh, now we are on to get some ice cream from BJ's. Yeah. Yee.
<laughs> what's what's in the bittersweet nugget? I think I'll go with the grasshopper. Uh, double. I love your accent. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, England. England? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you guys have an accent to me, so... We do? Yeah. <laughs> well, ours is very cool, though. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay, so that worked out way better than anticipated. Uh, we, I, I decided to go with the British accent because there was no way I was going to be able to pass off as German. And uh, at least the lady bought it, so... I just wish I'd have thought of something a little more clever than uh, England for where I was from, because that's a whole country, not a, you know, city or wherever. But we got ice cream from BJ's, and it's good. Oh, sorry, totally just pulled the Mike Wazowski on you. <laughs> Here's the two pictures we took. This one ended up a little overexposed, but that's all right. So, fun fact. This park that we're in, um, five years ago in this month, we actually were standing right here on this dock where I proposed to Kaylee. And six years ago, uh, tomorrow, we had our first date right there. And he sang to me on that bench. Yeah, I brought my acoustic guitar and sang to her on our first date. And here we are, six years later. A lot has changed. So many things. Life is crazy. Mm -hmm. Life is a, an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, after this we're gonna go home and uh, uh, veg because we've been eating all day. You know, um, we're Literally. gonna we're gonna go adventure in Minecraft now when we get home, and uh, that's gonna be the rest of our evening. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Hope you guys stick through this with with us and we enjoy taking these adventures anything to say no nope. cheers cheers see you guys next time